Hi there. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, in the project that you're involved in, what are some of the lessons learned and surprises that you came across? Well, I work in an educational context, so I'll uh, address that question from that point of view. Uh, I work with uh, students and businesses in Sackville, and uh, we put on a project uh, as part of Culture Days. Uh, we've learned quite a bit over three years because we've done three uh, projects so far. The first called Everyday Expressions, the second called Infusions, and the third called Infinite. So I guess one of my first tips would be find a name for the project that pulls it all together. Because we work with uh, 10 businesses, and I have 20 students in a class, and then I have 20 plus students throughout the university in drama, uh, fine arts, and music. So that's a lot to pull together. So having a name for your event, I think, is a really good idea. Uh, another thing that we found successful um, is to uh, put a map together for people who will participate in Sackville, because we're located in uh, businesses. Uh, in banks, Scotia Bank, for example, Royal Bank, uh, Mel's Tea Room, uh, Save Easy, a grocery store, Canada Post, uh, Fog Forest Gallery, uh, Tidewater Books, and uh, I believe the tenth one is the South Asian Thrift Store. So people need to know where those locations are. Even though it's in the downtown core, they want to know where it is. So we uh, students have designed these. They've put together a little map with the names of the businesses and uh, a rough idea of where, where they're at in the downtown. So we find that really useful. Um, another tip I have is to uh, make use of the resources that Culture Days Canada provides. So for example, last year we worked with these postcards and uh, the students adapted them to their project by putting their logo on it and the names of the businesses and they use this as a pre-event promotion on campus and also in the town. Thank you so much.